Hello everyone. This is Mystic Goddess with your general reading. So today we're going to see how the person that is on your mind when it comes to love truly feels about you currently. This reading is for everyone of every zodiac sign, so feel free to switch the energies around as needed. All right, so I've meditated over the energy and I've shuffled the deck, so let's go ahead and get started. The overall energy for how this person truly feels about you currently, we have love offer, control, we also have the ten of swords in reverse, and we have the king of swords here. All right, so when it comes to how this person truly feels about you, they want to come in and offer you love or they want you to accept their love offer, but they want to control the narrative. OK, so this is someone that wants you to do things their way. This is giving me energy of a love offer with terms and conditions. Being honest, this is not a loving love offer. OK, it's more like someone that wants to come in and sweep you off of your feet by saying all of the right things in hopes of you sweeping everything that they've done to hurt you underneath the rug. So someone wants you to leave the past in the past and for the two of you to recover or to have a new beginning. Hmm. So they're wanting you to fall in love with their words here. They're coming off as very cold, very calculated with this King of Swords energy being here. So it's going to be very important for all of you to stay strong minded, clear headed and make sure that you're thinking head above heart. Because I feel as though this is someone that they see you as very wise. So they feel as though they have to outsmart you. Okay. I do feel as though this person is wanting to, I do feel like they do really want to be with you. But the problem here is that this person needs to release control issues because notice here on this love offer card, their hands are open, but on this control card, the hand is closed. So it's like they want to come in. They want you to open your heart. They want you to be completely open with them but they're coming in with a closed heart and very closed off so it's going to be like i said very important for you guys to think head above heart when this person comes in because they're going to come in like they have it all together like they know what they want they're going to come in like they're trying to be fair for some of you i feel as though this person may possibly even take accountability for some of the things that they've done to hurt you but underneath the surface, they have like a hidden motive in regards to why they are taking accountability. Hmm. It's giving me energy of someone that just wants to come in and control your mind. Wow. So for some of you, this is a twin flame. For others of you, this is someone that you may have thought was your twin flame at some point in time. So let's see what else comes out here. So when it comes to this person, they're going to come in with this Knight of Cups energy in reverse, meaning, okay, surface level, they're going to come off like they know what they're doing, like they know what they want, like they're not being led by emotion. But underneath the surface, this person is actually overwhelmed by emotion. I feel as though they're trying to come in um, in a very confident way when in reality, they're very much insecure. And with the Knight of Cups being in reverse, this is someone that's very closed off. They're not emotionally available. Queen of Swords, I'm sorry, Queen of Wands in reverse. So be careful about this person coming in with this superficial charm. For some of you, they're craving your attention. I also feel as though this is someone that has a tendency to easily get bored in relationships. Now, for some of you, there may have been someone else that this person was dating or someone else that they were interested in. And I feel as though they've grown bored with that person for some reason. So at some point, this person... They may have been trying to juggle you and someone else, but at this point in time, they're tired of juggling. So this person is wanting to drop someone else so that they can come in toward you. And it's mainly because they see you as someone that's very stable, someone that's very grounded. They're also coming in um, very unstable within their finances. 
And like I said before, they're coming in closed off. So I feel like this person's heart is not really open to love. It's also going to be very important for you to protect your energy when this person comes in. Make sure that you have a clear head. Some of you may need to mentally prepare for when this person comes in. Others of you are prepared. I feel as though a lot of you have been doing some reflecting. So at some point in time, this person may have been withdrawn from you or they may not have been taking much action toward you. But now I feel like they're coming in. They're coming in very moody underneath the surface, though, even though on the outside, it's going to seem as though they're very calm, cool and collected underneath the surface. It's like a volcano is brewing. Whoever else they were dealing with, I feel as though that other person is going through some unexpected financial changes. That other person may be very unstable when it comes to their finances. I also feel as though if they were in a relationship with someone else or even if they are in a relationship with another person currently, I feel like the relationship is just very unstable between the two of them. There may have been some secrets that came out with the other person or about the other person. For some of you, when this person comes back in, I feel as though um, they are going to be coming with some deception, possibly even confusion. And the reason why they want to confuse you is because they know when you're clear headed, they can't get over on you. But for some reason, this person feels as though if they can keep you in a state of confusion, you might be a little bit more open to accepting this offer when they come in. Also, I feel as though for some of you, you're going to either let this person know that you don't trust them or you're unsure of whether the two of you should come back together. Others of you are going to let this person know right away that you're not interested. But those of you that may, you know, be interested in possibly having a connection with this person, I feel as though if you were to let them know that you want to be with them, that you are willing to accept their offer, but you're a little fearful because of things that they've done in the past, they're going to make it seem as though they don't know what you're talking about with this hangman card in reverse. And that came out in yesterday's reading as well, if I'm not mistaken. I just feel like this person's going to make it seem as though they don't understand why you can't trust them. When in reality, they're very much aware of why you don't trust them. So just be careful when it comes to letting this person in. Make sure that you also protect your money because like I said, they're coming in with very unstable finances. And so this may be someone that may see you as an opportunity for them to become more stable financially. Yeah, see, look, we have the page of Pentacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that's financially irresponsible. Hmm. They may spend beyond their means. Wow, that's a lot. So just be aware that when this person comes in, it's going to be important for you to think head above heart. I don't know why this person has these issues with control. It's like they are hell bent on controlling you, controlling your mind, controlling the way that you think. And I don't understand that. Hmm. So let's see what else comes out. Give me more messages, please, Holy Spirit, when it comes to this person. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? What is this person's true feelings for my viewers when it comes to love? Two more shuffles. All right. So let's see what else comes out here. I do apologize, guys. My camera cut out. But as I was saying, let's see what else comes out here. So we have children, all right? So for some of you, if you do happen to have children with this person, they may want to come in telling you that they want things to work for the kids. For others of you, this person may want to have children with you. Now, if the two of you are not able to have children, I feel as though this person may be coming in with some childish energy. 
Hmm. This King of Swords and this Ten of Swords in reverse as the overall energy, especially with the love offer card being here, it really bothers me because this person, they're not coming with emotion. They're coming with strategy. I don't like that. Give me more. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. All right. So we have runner in reverse. So this person, they want to stop you from distancing yourself or they don't want you to get too far away from them. With this runner energy being here, I feel as though a lot of you have been trying to distance yourself from this person. Also, if this person was running from the connection at any point in time, I just see them um, coming toward you. Like, I see the running coming to an end. It could even be if this is your twin flame. If they were the runner at one point in time, you may become the runner or this person may become the chaser. Okay. Hmm. I feel like at one point in time, this person was not accepting what you had to offer them, even though they felt as though this was a good connection for them, or they felt as though whatever you were offering was very genuine. But now I feel like this person is tired of running from the connection. So someone basically with this runner car in reverse, they don't want you to get away. They don't want you to be the one that got away. That's all it is to it. Give me another card, please. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. Wear and tear. So again, as I was saying before, this person, they are very much aware that they've done a lot of wear and tear on this connection. And so for some of you, they want you to think that they are capable of changing or that they have changed. Shadow work is at the bottom of the deck. So this is someone that wants you to think that they are working on themselves and I'm not saying that they aren't working on themselves I'm just saying that there's a little bit of strategy in regards to how they're coming toward you they're not coming toward you with an open heart okay it's more like they really want to get what they want from you whether it's a love offer whether it's time whether it's effort but they're not going about doing it in a fair way Give me more. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we also have shattered here. So they're feeling broken. Okay. They're having a lot of racing thoughts. For some of you, they feel as though they've done too much in this connection and that you may not want to put in any effort. But for those of you, if this person did break your heart, they want to come in and make an effort to try and repair things. And I really feel as though they do want to repair things with you, but they're going about doing it in the wrong way. How can you offer love with terms and conditions? How can you do that? <laughs> it's like a my way or no way type of thing. Give me one more card. What is this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. So we have rejection. So they're worried about you rejecting them. This card did fall out on top of the King of Swords here. So that may be one reason why they feel as though they have to come in with strategy. It's because they're worried about you rejecting them. And for some of you, they feel as though you'll end up rejecting them because of um, some of their shadow aspects. I feel like for some of you, this person could possibly have some narcissistic tendencies. Someone feels as though you have to have a weak mind in order for them to be able to get their way with you. So that's why they want to come in and try to win you over with words. Just keep in mind that with this air energy being here, air is swift. Air is very fluid. So this person can change up in the blink of an eye. Oh my goodness. All right. So... I'm going to clarify um, this love offer card. Let's clarify. Why is love offer here in regards to this person's true feelings for my viewers currently when it comes to love? Thank you. Look at this, the seven of swords. And that fell out right on top of runner. 
So I'm telling you, it's all about strategy. This Seven of Swords card is also about deception. So this is a deceptive love offer. They're coming in with sneaky um, energy. They feel like they can get away with something. My goodness. And I feel as though once you, with the Ten of Wands being in reverse, I feel like once you apply pressure to this person to stand on the things that they say that they will do, I feel like they're going to fold. I really do. I feel like they'll collapse under pressure. Why is this Seven of Swords here clarifying love offer? So we have the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this is someone that has a very unhealthy way of loving. They want you to support them, but they're very unsupportive. This is someone that um, wants you to feel them, feel their cup, but you'll be left with an empty cup because they're not going to replenish it. They may also suffer from depression. Hmm. This is someone that's emotionally manipulative. So they feel as though they have to make you fall in love with their words. Or win you over with words. Because they feel as though that will cause you to fall deeply in love with them. very weird type of energy you'll be left feeling drained dealing with this person and for some of you they're coming back toward you because they've fallen out of love with someone else either that other person um either they've fallen out of love with that other person or there was never any love there but this is someone that is just not and the energy of being able to give a healthy relationship. I don't like that at all. I don't like it. Mm -mm -mm -mm. All right. So that is the reading, everyone. If you guys resonated with this or if you liked this reading, make sure that you give this video a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. I would love to have you as a part of the Mystic family. I love each and every one of you guys so, so much. You take care. Be safe. Until next time. Bye.